All right, what's going on guys? We just got downtown. This is my second time vlogging like the intro and stuff because Tian kind of lost my SD card while trying my, uh, trying my camera in my car. So he lost the SD card in my car. So we are going to Bathurst Bridge right now. We're gonna shoot some long exposures. Uh, I'm thinking of teaching you guys how I, and showing you guys how I shoot my long exposures. So follow us along. Okay, so we got to Bathurst Bridge now. I'm going to set up my camera and I'm gonna show you how I do long exposures. First, you need a tripod. So the tripod that I'm using is the Gorillapod Pro and I've actually attached one of my other tripod heads onto it so I get a better stable shot. I usually use this tripod because it's super convenient and I can carry it anywhere in my backpack really easily. It's really light and it's also really sturdy so it can handle my mirrorless camera and any other lenses. And another tip is, if you don't have a tripod, you can always find a flat surface and just put it on there like this. So for this scene, I'm just gonna put my camera right here and hold it steady so it doesn't fall. To get the motion blur, you're going to want to have a longer shutter speed. So I'm going to set mine for four seconds. Since it's really bright now, you're going to need to limit the light that's coming in. So what I'm going to do is increase the aperture. And it depends on the environment that you're in. But the best for me right now would be around um, F9. That will give me a really sharp image. And ISO, I'm going to leave it at 640. You don't want it ISO too high or else it'll be super grainy and really bright. Another thing is I'm going to set the timer for two seconds so I don't get any shake when I press the shutter button. So there it goes. And that's my shot. So the best long exposures are when you find a moving object. And for this scene, I'm actually going to be waiting for a train to come. And hopefully that will give a nice shot. A train is coming now, so I'm gonna press the shutter. There it goes. And I will post a picture on the video so you can see it better. I'm gonna take a few more. There you go, one more. So as you can see here, there's actually two trains coming. Just remember to play with the shutter speed and the aperture and keep your ISO low and you should be good. All the settings are about the same but you have to adjust it depending on the light and the situation. So that's how you do it, that's how you do long exposure, I hope it really helped. Thanks, let me know if you have any questions, put it down in the comments below.